Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today we're gonna be taking some techniques I've taught in past tutorials and putting them all together to make this still picture look more like actual video. Let's start with a brand new composition, 1920 by 1080, give it a name, and this is just seven seconds long for mine. I'm gonna bring in my image and it's a rather large image, so I'm gonna scale this down. And what I need to do is I need to separate this out into different layers. I want a grass layer by itself, I want a sky layer by itself, and then a water layer, so that I can animate these all differently. So let's start by creating a sky layer. So I'm gonna duplicate this layer, hit enter or return on the keyboard, it makes it so I can change the name of this, I'm gonna call it sky. Duplicate it again, let's call this water. Duplicate it again, call this grass, and let's put the grass above the water and the water above the sky. Now, let's go in and kind of mask some of this out. I'm going to first mask out the water layer, so I'm going to just solo that. Hit this little button here with the circle over it, that's the solo layer. Let's grab the mask, and I'm going to just do a rough mask. I don't have to be too exact, because I'm going to feather it a little bit. You can, of course, get as perfect as you need to. And we're just masking out just the water. Okay, perfect. Now for the grass layer, I am going to just mask out where the grass is. Let's solo that as well. And to this, I'm gonna add an extract filter. That's under keying extract and what this does is I can extract out based on luminance or different values you know red green blue alpha but I'm just gonna do luminance and bring it down so it's just mostly grass and then we have the sky in the background now to start animating this the first thing I want to do is animate the sky I'm actually going to scale this up slightly about like that Let's go to the water layer and feather this mask just ever so slightly, about three should do. Now back on the sky layer, I'm gonna to add to this a distort called CC Slant. And if we take the floor, this is where things slant around and I want to put that right on where the sun is because I don't want the sun to move or slant, I want it to be kind of where it's at. And as I slant this, you can see it creates kind of a cool looking cloud movement. And what I, I like about the slant is because the clouds up here at the top, which are closer to you, um, are moving faster and further than the clouds down here towards the center. Let's actually maybe move this just a little bit below the sun. It's okay if the sun moves a little bit. Okay. So we want to go from probably about 15. And we're going to keyframe at the beginning of the composition or the timeline. Slant from 15 to negative 15. And what we have is subtle cloud movements. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is let's add some little subtle ripples to the water. So with this, I'm going to add a ripple effect. So go to effect, distort, ripple. And if we increase the wave, um, the wave height, be able to see where the ripples are and I want to move the ripple down, way down, about like that. And let's bring the width in and bring the height back down. We just want little ripples. Okay, so let's preview that to see if it's the speed we want. So I'm just doing a RAM preview. And that's probably a little bit too fast. So we take the wave speed down. Let's say, let's go to point six okay I like that better now the what I don't like is how the ripples are affecting the grass they're affecting um, everything in the picture so let's add a mask to this kind of around the grass and then go out and get most of the water but not these Little bits of wood that are sticking up through the water. About like that. 
And then if we go into the effects, under Ripple, if you're on After Effects CC, there's this compositing option. We click plus and it'll add a mask to it and we pick mask 2. So now it's only going to ripple uh, where that mask is. Now take the grass, this grass layer, I'm going to move it and kind of maybe scale it up a little bit. And to this we're going to add a slant as well. Under distort, CC slant, make sure the floor is near the bottom of the grass. And we want the grass to kind of move in the breeze like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add to this a wiggle effect. So I just hit Option and Alt, clicked on the stopwatch for slant, type wiggle, and in parentheses put 1, 5. That means every second it'll move a maximum of 5% on, you know, of the slant. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to duplicate that grass, move it over here, and let's add a little bit more. Um, so if we go into the scale, unlink it, and turn the first value to a negative number, then it'll flip the whole thing around. Let's add a little bit of grass down here. And this will have a wiggle on it already since I already applied it to the first layer. Okay, so now we got some wiggly grass, we have some ripples in the water, and we have the clouds moving. Let's add a little bit of stuff to this to make it uh, more like a video, like a pan or a zoom or something. So if we add a new null object, Let's go in and parent everything to that null. But first, what I want to do is take this water layer, and I'm going to keyframe the scale. Let's make sure that the anchor point is at the bottom of the layer. So I'm going to hit Y to bring up my pan behind tool, or it's up here in the top left. Let's grab the anchor point, put it at the bottom. This is for the water layer. Let's go to the end, and we're going to scale just the vertical value of this just down a tiny bit so it kind of squashes down like this um, but it's just the water layer and the grass isn't going to be doing that now let's take the sky layer and we're going to just move the position let's go to the end and move the position down so this is going to give kind of a a false um, parallax feel to it and then on top of that if we take the null and we also scale it from 100 to say 105 then we got a pretty good look let's render this out and see what we look like okay looking pretty good now what I want to add to this is a little bit more um, brightness to the Sun part of this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a lens flare to do that so I want to add this to a new solid just a black solid call it flare and to this, let's generate a lens flare. And for what I'm doing, just the built-in lens flare will do fine. Um, if you are using a third-party plugin, then you might be able to get something a little bit nicer, but this seems to work fine for this. Add to this a blur, which is to a fast blur. And just horizontally, I want to kind of blur this a little bit, just about like that. Now let's take this layer and switch it to add and you can see immediately what it's doing. Now I want to bring the blend with original up since it's on a black layer if I blend with the original and it's on add it's going to be the same thing as changing the transparency. So let's bring that up to about 45 is looking pretty good. Now I need to keyframe the flare center because everything moves a little bit. And we've got that moving. And let's see the difference when I turn that on and off. You can see how that adds a nice little brightness to it. But it's a little bit white. I want to add a little bit more oranginess to it that we had before. So since, again, this is on just a black layer, we can go into the effects, color correction, and add a tint. And to the white, see, we can add this nice yellowy color back into it. Okay, looking pretty good. Now to the brightness, I want to add a wiggle to this as well. So it's kind of almost flickering. Uh, I don't want it to be a fast flicker. So let's go wiggle and then just again one and five. So we got a nice subtle kind of adjustment in the brightness. 
And last thing I want to do is help focus your attention on the sunset. So let's add a vignette to this. So go to layer, new adjustment layer. To this adjustment layer, let's add under color correction an exposure. Bring down the exposure and then get an ellipse tool mask, double click, and it'll apply it to that adjustment layer. Hit F on the keyboard, it brings up the feather controls for that mask. Hit the invert and then feather it. And if it's too intense, you can also hit uh, T to bring up the opacity, bring it down a little bit. The idea with a vignette is to make it there but not noticeable. And I think we're about done with this. Let's just do one final render, um, RAM preview to see what it looks like. So here's the final product. I think it looks pretty good. Um, very subtle kind of movements to it. I might go in and, and tweak the the ripple a little bit here and there, but all in all, I'm pretty pleased. So I hope you learned some great things from this. If you have any questions, feel free to just post them down in the comments below. Um, if it's not even related, go ahead and post it in the comments below. I do take tutorial requests as well. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.